hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to fetch or retrieve the data from the database in laravel so guys we will be using eloquent model to retrieve the data from our database so guys let's get started so first let's go to this employee page and create a page and then design a table and then fetch the data as simple so let's move over here let's copy this url and go to routes web.php and create a route for it using get method where i'm going to pass this employee comma the controller so employee controller at index so let's create the employee controller first open your terminal press control tilde symbol and create the controller php artisan make colon controller the controller name which is employee controller hit enter controller created successfully so let's go to app http controller employee controller so let's click on this and now let's write the function so public function index function and over here you are going to call the page so first let us call the page with the help of view function inside this pages dot employee folder dot index so let's go to pages folder and inside that i want to create a employee folder let's go to resource views pages folder employee folder and inside this employee i want to create a file name called index dot blade dot php as simple so guys now we need to extend the template so as we saw in previous videos we have done with this so let's copy that and paste we have the layouts and front end extended okay so now let's remove this over we don't require this thing so guys now let's design the table for it so first let's go to get bootstrap.com over here let's type table hit enter the table structure come over here as simple let's copy this and paste done so now let's see the output guys for this first let's get back so we are over here let's refresh you can see this table design so i want to keep this in a card format so how will you keep that use a bootstrap card card header inside this card header fetch data from database using eloquent model save and inside this card body done let's cut this to div and tags and paste over here let's move this front save refresh and check the output perfect so guys let's remove the text center done and now let us retrieve the data as per our requirement of employee tables so guys we have already created the employee tables if you don't know how to create please watch out the previous video the link is given in the description so let's go over here and insert one dummy data over here so let's click on insert so we'll keep ved prakash email ved at gmail.com so phone okay web so let's keep something digit web developer and let's take another data om prakash n email om at gmail dot com phone and designation python developer so let's click on go
so guys our data has inserted so now let's fetch this data from here let me just refresh okay done and let's get back so let's move to our employee controller and let's fetch the eloquent table over here so before that let's create a variable called employee employee is equal to the model so model we have created in previous video only which is over here we need to include this model over here okay so let's tell that model what is the model name employee so let's copy this employee colon colon all we will give okay let's set this all so let's import this employee over here use where is the path that inside app model and then employee model okay so app backslash model backslash and then your employee model employee let's save done and now guys let's pass this variable using the compact function compact where you are going to pass this employee let's save and let's go to this page as simple and now let's call this data over here using for each loop so before that we need to call all this name so name email phone designation so this will be edit and then delete so let's save before that we have to check the status also status so let's remove this we don't require all these things as simple and now guys we need to loop the data inside this table row so at for each and dollar employee as emp data so let's copy this so before copying cut this and paste below and now let's take this emp data and fetch that id over here so open the double curly braces paste and call this column name id set and now let's check the output guys for it let's come over here refresh okay app model employee not found why let's see in the controller so okay where's the model okay models it is so we missed out s so let's give that correct that and now let's refresh cool so we have got the data and now guys we are going to fetch all this column names fields email and designation things so let's get back to index page and so let's copy this so make sure change this td and this also td let's make it to name email phone designation status table data with the a tag for edit let's give a class for this using bootstrap thing btn primary and one more table data for the delete let's keep it delete it will be danger so let's save this and now let's check the output perfect so guys now we have successfully fetched the data into our html bootstrap table thing okay using eloquent model so guys in this video that's it and let's continue next video how to add this data from the form and save the data into our database so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share